in Rockland where the city's health agent says one of the teams that plays here is responsible for an increase in numbers, at least in this city, dating back to a few weeks ago. Dozens of hockey leagues and thousands of players growing concerned after. A few of the teams around me have um, gotten a few cases, like some of the kids and also coaches. Some parents and players telling us the teams have done a good job keeping them informed, but we're not that surprised hearing about the increase in COVID cases. Doesn't surprise me. Why do you say that? You know, I mean, we, may, we wear our masks in. You know, we're safe when we're here, but, you know, who knows what everybody does outside of the locker room. Rockland is one of several communities now in the red after being in the yellow last week. A lot of people are being laxed and um, not taking it serious as they did back in March. Boston Terriers had a practice. They watched film without masks. Rockland's health agent tells us since that maskless film session, a coach and a couple players tested positive, but she doesn't know how many total cases came from that. It was very hard with contact tracing because we didn't get the rosters until, you know, midweek last week. So it was a lot of scrambling to be able to get all the communities that were infected. I would say there was seven plus communities. Hanover superintendent confirmed to us in a statement one of their students tested positive for COVID-19 over the weekend and 36 students who are all hockey players with possible close contact to this person are presently in quarantine as a precaution. As days go by, it is possible, he says, that there may be other positive tests within this cohort. Perhaps not. He also says there are many other cases related to youth club hockey on the South Shore. I've stayed back a few practices just so we could just wait for cases to hopefully go down. We try to stay out of locker rooms like, and try to stay at, in the rink as short as possible by like getting ready uh, in, in the car. And you heard the kid talk about precautions he takes. I did speak with a couple of the owners and organizers of the different leagues off camera, and they do tell me there are a lot of regulations. They make the kids wear masks. In fact, there's signs everywhere. The coaches wear masks on the bench. The parents, there's only one parent allowed per kid. They have to dress outside, maybe in the car before coming in, and they can only come in maybe 15 minutes before a game. So they do have a lot of regulations and precautions that they do take. Mark. So, Ali, it sounds like the league is trying its hardest to keep the league safe, but clearly there's concern. Are players, parents, organizers fearful the state will stop allowing them to play? Very concerned. In fact, that came up a lot tonight. In fact, some of the parents tell me they've seen their kids in tears, worried about the fact that they, the state could go backwards to maybe a phase two. The other thing that was coming up a lot tonight is uh, from the organizers and coaches and owners here is they say, in their opinion, that you cannot just blame the hockey leagues. They say if any of the kids test positive at one of their school, everyone's going to get quarantined, everyone's going to get tested around them. That automatically, because of the increase in tests, is going to automatically result in an increase in cases that could result in a town going from yellow to red. Certainly can understand their concern. You have all those kids, all those teams pouring in and out of rinks as well, but kids just being kids at home. It could happen.